Yo, what's happening, everyone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I wasn't even sure what to post. Um, it's been really, really, really weird. Really, really weird time. Um, this coronavirus is, is just, um, yeah, man. It's knocked everyone for six. Um, and I think you're hearing it from everyone um, across the globe. Like, there's more to life than football. Well, more things important than football in terms of human lives. But yeah, it still it still sucks all the same um, with regards to the football season and everything else. But um, firstly, um, shout out to anyone that's you know been going through a tough. Well, we've all been going through a tough time with coronavirus. But um, shout out to anyone who's had the virus and is recovering. Um, hopefully, not many of you have had um, family members directly you know hurt or you know passing away or anything like that um, to do the virus I've been lucky no one in my family's got coronavirus to my knowledge and none of us it's it's really weird because I don't even know I don't know if I've had it I don't know if I'm a carrier I don't know if the people in my house have had it because not none of us have been tested um so it's just it's just really strange here in the UK at the moment you don't know you sort of not name what what to do um we've had instructions from the government but even that's been weird um like for example me and my family well me in particular i've been going out every day to get food and you know supplies and stuff but obviously i haven't been going out socializing you've got to do the social distancing as well so that's been strange because you'll go you go to a shop and you'll have a situation where you're keeping your distance but somebody else is not keeping their distance and coming close to you so you've got that you don't know if you're going to get it through that um you're trying to go out you're trying not to go out but then you, you've got that one hour one hour a day you can go out and do exercise or just get fresh air so you go out and then you're seeing loads of people are out at the same time so it's like it's, it's this is just really weird it's a really strange time you can't see what this thing is you know you've got some people saying that it's um like a hoax but then you've got other, but then you, you there's people that you're seeing who are sick but then you might not have it like, like in my case so it's it's strange man it's a really strange time but i just feel at this moment everyone needs to kind of come together um it's exposed the frailties of our society it kind of shows you that maybe some of the things that people are um, focusing on in terms of materialistic things are not so important you know the whole thing doesn't work if people ain't there if you look at football for example when they're talking about um, games being played behind closed doors in the early stages <clears throat> before we had the lockdown they were talking about like doing games behind closed doors and you're thinking to yourself if you don't have the atmosphere with the fans you know the games aren't the games ain't really the same so you know even that aspect of football is a bit strange but yeah it's a really it's a it's a weird time man it's a weird time um for me on the football front and i'm trying to be sensitive as well because obviously the death toll hasn't stopped so that's why i said it it's putting you in a weird place it's like you want to talk about football you want to talk about other stuff in general you want to talk about more positive stuff but this thing is on every single day repeat on the cycle new numbers coming in um so it's it's unprecedented there's nothing that, that i don't i didn't live in the war the, um, the war times so for for my generation this is it's a strange time but you're in this weird place where you want to you want to know everything that's going on about covid and at the same time you want to almost take your mind off it and talk about other stuff so then you're almost feeling guilty wanting to speak about football but at the same time we've got to try and find ways to to move on so yeah i'm gonna put apologies for this video being a bit of a rambly one a bit all over the place but i've been meaning to post i've wanted to post as soon as um things got locked down but i've been toying with it for so long not sure what to post when to post and like i was waiting for things to die down but then i'm seeing other um podcasts and other channels posting 
So it's just been weird. But I didn't want to post um, just for the sake of it. Like just to just to try and get um, clickbait and views and stuff. I wanted to be real, which is what I do on my channel. I just keep it real and, and remain real. So I've decided I'm still gonna post. I've decided I'm gonna post. I'm gonna keep posting through this because there's probably there are some, probably some people um, on my subscriptions that still want to hear what I've got to say or just communicate. I think at this moment in time, I'm using. I'm gonna use the platform as a communication method for anyone that wants to kind of talk and if you're in isolation and you just want to bounce back even if it's banter i think that i think the right thing to do is probably to, to still keep posting um content to you guys and i'm just gonna i've got had a whole list of things that i was gonna post going into this month and i think i'm still gonna just obviously i can't talk about the games now because there's no games on but what I can do is probably talk about some of the stuff that I was going to raise. So I was going to talk about some of the old matches, players, you know, why I support the club, etc. So I think I'm going to do that rather than try and make up stuff. <clears throat> and and I've seen a lot of chat. I'm seeing a lot of channels just posting this stupid content. That's the best way I can describe it. Things that are just insignificant, really. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of the season. It's weird because this was potentially the best season for me. Like the most enjoyable, one of the most enjoyable seasons ever. And like poof, just just gone man. Like with two with two wins away, it's like it's almost gonna become one of the biggest disappointments. Um from a selfish football point of view. It's gonna be like one of the biggest dis disappointments. Um I'm trying not to even think about the outcome at the moment of what might happen with this season because there's been so much speculation but no one really knows where this thing is is gonna go so um you know i've heard some people say they don't care now what happens to the season but i'm not i'm not gonna lie i do care because you know if we can get through this then it's gonna be a thing of right what happens next and i think it's i think a lot of people are trying to trying to sound like you know they're, they're not bothered about football but there's a whole range of us that are and it might it might might sound selfish but you know there's a whole range of us that are especially um liverpool fans but the thing is the league is not all about liverpool as well there's so many other things to be tied up so yeah man like i said i'm gonna keep posting content i'm gonna try and do at least one video a day um and just let me know yeah, if there's anything you want me to, to, any subjects you want me to raise or anything you want me to analyse, just put a comment below. Um, and yeah, just do me a favour, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Hit the like button or dislike, leave a comment. And also, um, pass the channel on um, to any other Liverpool fans that are out there. Um, I'm trying to grow the channel, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Try my best to get a thousand subscribers because I want to create a community on here. Um, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I want to create a thousand subscribers. Hopefully, um, we can do that. And, um, yeah, I'll speak to you again in a bit.